Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Elicia B, the beauty entrepreneur. And today I'm coming to you with a simple, quick wig making tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start off by using wig pins to hold my track in place where I want it to go. Then I'm going to take the one wig pin out and I'm going to place my needle and that is where I will begin sewing. Now, as far as stitch methods, use the stitch method that you work with the best. As long as the track is in there, the stitch method is not the biggest thing. It's all about the security of the wig. And yes, I do cut all of my wefts when I'm making a wig. Unless my client prefer me to do otherwise, I will always cut my wealth making a wig. Because nine times out of ten, when I'm making a wig, I will not deconstruct the wig. And I want the wig to be as flat as possible. So, that is why I cut my wealth. Now the rest of the video will basically be fast forwarded because at this point you kind of get the gist of it. I mean there are some tutorials that break down um, stitch methods. So just figure out which stitch, me stitch method best works for you and go with it. Okay right here I'm going to slow it down just for a second. So you can see what I'm doing. Also, I only used two bundles with making this wig. This unit was a 360 frontal. And I only used two bundles of 20 inch. I, I think it's an 18 inch 360 frontal. And I only used two 20 inch bundles for the inside and it was full. Alright, we about to change scenes because I had to go pick up my kids from school. And now I am at home finishing the wig. You can see how I'm using my T-pin. I'm using it to hold my track in place while I'm sewing the opposite side down. And I'm going to move my T-pin, as you can see. As I get closer to it, I'm going to move it out the way. But it's just used to hold my track in place. And I will be launching my hair company soon. So right now, if you want to order anything from me, you can email me at eliciab.beauty at gmail.com. And I also do make custom wigs. And you can catch me at that same email for custom wig orders as well. Now this wig has actually already been sold. So, I didn't get any after pictures, but what I did after this, I bleached the knots, I customized the hairline, and I styled it for my client to pick it up the following day.
Now, this is me. I just threw it on my head and I was playing with it. This is before the knots were bleached and before I customized the hairline. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.